Hi friends, this is my two week grocery haul. It has been a long time since I've actually done a grocery haul for you and I needed lots of things so this is going to be a big one. So let's go ahead and get started. This is everything I picked up from Walmart. Um, Olivia needed a black shirt. She wanted just a plain black t-shirt but couldn't find one so she just got this one which is kind of a softer material. It's a little more stretchy. Not so much t-shirt material like. Um, I needed some black socks. Um, when I went to the podiatrist, podiatrist a couple weeks ago, he suggested that I get like um, compression socks or whatever. Uh, but I didn't want to get the ugly ones. <laughs> so I went ahead and got these. I don't have diabetes, but it's for my feet. So there's four packs, there are four pairs there. So those are for me. Um, I picked up this shirt because I thought it was really, really pretty. And it's long sleeved and made out of that thermal material. And I picked up a pair of black uh, leggings to wear under skirts. So that's all of the clothing type items. Uh, I needed some more cranberry chews, so I picked up some of those for me. Got some suave deodorant for Olivia. And this is Olivia. She needed a makeup brush. These, this ELF brand is really good. This was only a dollar. And then I got myself some black eyeliner. And I got some more of the Wonder Waves uh, conditioning spray that I use on my hair for my waves. I've got very wavy hair. I picked up some essential oils. Um, I was completely out of the um, like the immunity boosting blends so I went ahead and picked this up but I will be placing an order for some before winter gets here. I needed some more yarn for that uh, crochet with me crochet and afghan with me series that I'm working on. If you haven't checked those video videos out, check them out. Um, even if you don't know how to crochet, you can learn and you could join us on the project. I think you'd have a lot of fun. I picked up some trash bags. These are for the bathroom trash can. Got some makeup removing wipes for Olivia and some just facial face cleansing wipes for Travis. Some laundry pods. I really like these. Um, I think they do a good job and they leave my laundry smelling really good. This is the lavender scent and then I picked up some more of these Purex crystals also in the lavender scent. I picked up some shampoo for Scott and then Olivia repainted her room and she still needed a few things um, so uh, I got her some curtains. She needed some curtains for her window and she wanted a bed skirt for her bed and then she's been bugging me for two months to get her this llama and I was gonna wait until Christmas but I was feeling generous today so I went ahead and just got it today for her. They had her, their fall tablecloths on clearance um, and well I don't know if it's actually clearance but the price was really good uh, this is a fabric tablecloth and it was only seven dollars which is an excellent price for a nice big uh, fabric tablecloth and I always need new ones. Um, I think that was all the non-food items except for over here um, I ended up getting this big area rug and this matching runner and that's for poor Lucy because we have these laminate flooring and she slips and slides around so much. So I decided to go ahead and put this um, in our living room. Once I get them placed, I'll take a picture and I'll insert it uh, into the video right here. I picked up some 
coffee. These are just a dollar, little dollar pouches. I wanted to try some different flavors. So I picked up the Autumn Spice and the Caramel Candy. Those are for me. And Olivia can only drink decaf. The caffeine or something in the regular coffee just doesn't agree with her. So she tried the uh, decaf French vanilla. Got two cans of organic green beans, two boxes of fig bars. Uh, Scott likes to take these in his lunch for break time. Uh, two jars of ragu pizza sauce. Some all fruit Concord grape jelly. This is trim healthy mama friendly. Some soy sauce. Two cans of organic tomato sauce some cayenne pepper, some baking powder, and I always get the aluminum free, some Hershey's Simply Five chocolate syrup, some olive oil Miracle Whip, a thing of light prune juice, some organic ketchup, I love this brand, some organic coconut sugar. Uh, I've been doing a lot of stevia lately because of Trim Healthy Mama. And I don't know what's going on with me, but um, it's really, my IBS has really been bothering me a lot. And I don't know if it's the stevia or not. Um, I've done a ton of research and everything I've found says it does not affect irritable bowel, but I'm just decided I'm gonna kind of cut back, cut way back on the stevia and go back to using the coconut sugar for a while and just see if things kind of even out and level out because I've just not been feeling good and I'm really tired of it. I picked up some whole wheat flour. I've been, I looked for sprouted grain flour and could not find it uh, because sprouted grain is Trim Healthy Mama friendly, but I thought I'm just going to go with the whole wheat. This is best I can do. Picked up some cornmeal some organic unsweetened applesauce. This was a giant splurge. I probably shouldn't have bought these because I probably won't be able to stay out of them. I absolutely love candy corn and the caramel flavor just sold me. So I picked these up and hopefully I'm not the only one that eats them. <laughs> I picked up some of these um, light multigrain um, English muffins. I'm going to make some English muffin pizzas for me. I've been having a really hard time finding Trim Healthy Mama friendly lunches. Other, If I didn't don't have leftovers, I basically have nothing to eat. So I'm going to try to make some little uh, English muffin pizzas to put in the freezer for my lunches. Uh, I got some more popcorn. We eat a lot of popcorn. Uh, Olivia wanted to try these for her lunches. They're both dairy free sesame teriyaki and then this the beef savory beef so those are for her i got this uh french bread i'm going to make garlic bread for uh, dinner one night i got some organic iceberg lettuce some organic pink lady apples some cuties the cuties have been delicious lately i think this is probably the fourth bag i've bought in the last month they're so good I got a bag of sweet potatoes, two bunches of organic bananas, four of my dairy-free vanilla yogurts for my overnight oats. Um, I got the riced broccoli. I've been doing the riced cauliflower and it is not agreeing with my IBS. A lot of the Trim Healthy Mama stuff just doesn't agree with my system and it's very disheartening. <laughs> But I thought I would give the riced broccoli a try, and maybe that won't make me so miserable. Um, I picked up some of these veggie spirals. They're like zoodles, but these are with the butternut squash. I got some more of the frozen garlic that I love. I got some of this pepper and onion blend. It's just for convenience. I really like having that in the freezer. Some french fries for our dinner tonight to go with our dinner. Two different kinds of stir fry. We'll have stir fry at some point in the next two weeks. I got the guys some of this um, mocha almond fudge coffee creamer. And then I got myself some of the almond milk vanilla. I got two of my uh, cashew milks. 
I picked these up for Scott just for quick lunches or sometimes when we don't have leftovers, he's at a loss to what to take in his lunch for work. So I just picked him up a assorted variety of different um, quickie things that you can cook in the microwave. Got some burgers, we'll have those on the grill at some point. Two boxes of cereal. These are not organic, but they are delicious. We had bought, I had bought this last month, and oh my goodness, it's not Trim Healthy Mama friendly by any stretch. And I only ate two times. I had a very small bowl with some cashew milk, but oh, so good. If you like Reese's peanut butter cups, try this cereal. Mm. Eat it more like a dessert than breakfast because it is really super sweet. And then, of course, I am a pumpkin spice sucker, <laughs> and I wanted to try these Frosted Mini Wheats Pumpkin Spice Blend, or variety, flavor, whatever you want to call it. Got the dogs some grain-free dog food, and some of these Softies dog cookies. And I think that is everything I got at Walmart. Let me get this stuff put away, and I'll show you what I picked up at Aldi. Okay, so here is everything I got at Aldi. All right, I picked up these French rolls. Olivia wanted these. They don't have any milk in them. And mainly because I picked up some of this Nan bread. It's a flatbread. I got two packages because we're going to be having, uh, a, we call it loose meat sandwiches. Um, and we usually have them in pita bread, but I couldn't find any pita bread. So I got this non bread and then to discover it has milk in it. So this will be for Travis and Scott to, to share this bread and Olivia will have this French rolls and then I'll have some of my Tim Healthy Mama approved bread. Speaking of, I've got this super seed bread, organic and this uh, sprouted grain. Those are for me, for Trim Healthy Mama Friendly Foods. I have four packages of everything. Bagels, these are for Travis and Scott. They eat uh, egg sandwiches almost every morning for breakfast. I got some flour tortillas. We will have be having tacos at some point. We always do. Tacos are my favorite meal. And yes, I bought lots of snacks. Don't judge. <laughs> um, we were compl almost completely out of snacks, number one. And number two, I am buying for four adults. And this is for two weeks. And honestly, I should say three adults because I won't eat any of this. But because of Olivia's issue, I have to buy her special things because she can't eat stuff that has milk in them. So there's that reason why we have so many so many snacks. Scott loves pork rinds. I don't usually buy them for him because I think they're disgusting, but Olivia talked me into it, so we got some pork rinds for Scott. Um, this party mix, Travis absolutely loves Chuck's party mix, so I got him this, and yes, it does have milk in it, so Olivia won't be having any of that. But these kettle chips do not have milk, so she can have some of those. And then uh, the barbecue chips and also the all dressed. Those do not have milk. The chili cheese corn chips, another one of Scott's favorites. And um, Aldi's doesn't carry those all the time. So I ended up getting two bags of those. And then I got a bag of these nacho cheese. They're like Doritos um, for Scott or Travis to have. So that's all of the junk food. Um, I got some organic shells and cheese for Travis, some just plain couscous um, to use as a side dish for meals, got two boxes of those, got some organic linguine, we're going to be having pasta one night for dinner, um, I call everything that I use with marinara sauce spaghetti, <laughs> but I'm going to be actually using the linguine, and that's also what I will use the French bread for to make garlic bread. Lydia picked this up for a lunch for her. Picked up some pepperonis, probably be making homemade pizza at some point in the next two weeks. Got some organic sunflower oil. This is what we use to make popcorn. 
and we were um, almost completely out of that. I got one jar of the marinara sauce, organic, it's pretty good stuff. Um, I got some of this ghee, uh, Scott loves to use a little bit of ghee and a little bit of olive oil um, when he fries his eggs. He says it's a great combination. So picked up some more of that. I got six cans of mandarin oranges. I use these for my overnight oatmeal. And then I got two things of peanut butter because we're having a little bit of a debate in our house. I am a creamy girl. I just love creamy peanut butter and Olivia loves crunchy. So the last time I bought peanut butter, I got the crunchy and I ate it a couple of times and I'm like, I just don't like crunchy peanut butter. I don't know why, I just don't like it. So this, uh, this shopping trip, I went ahead and just got a jar of each. Uh, comment down in the comment section below. Do you prefer crunchy or creamy? Let's see if we can see who uh, who wins, creamy or crunchy. <laughs> I picked up some of these pepitas, which are basically roasted pumpkin seeds to use in salads, as well as the sunflower seeds. I love to sprinkle those on salads. I got a pound of butter and some sour cream. I got a pound of this uncured bacon. I'm just going to fry this up and use it for different things. If I were to have bacon, like let's say we had it at breakfast for dinner, I would need at least two pounds of bacon. But this stuff is five dollars a pound. So I just wanted to had it got just one package and we'll use it for like garnishes and things like that instead of for a whole meal. You know, the protein for an entire meal. Um, got some of these smoked sausages. We'll have those for a dinner one night. Uh, three half gallons of organic milk. Travis ran out and he said get three jugs this time. So I did. I got some French vanilla coffee creamer and some half and half for the guys coffee. Uh, some ham for sandwiches. Uh, I got some of this grilled chicken. This is for me to eat for lunches. Um, like I was saying, I've been having the hardest time. I don't know. With the Trim Healthy Mama, it does work, but for me, because I have so many restrictions on what I can eat, I tend to be eating the same things over and over and over, and it's getting so boring. I'm getting so tired of it, and I don't want to give up on Trim Healthy Mama, so I'm trying to find as many different options as I can for, for lunches. I picked up some of these boneless breaded chicken wings for lunches. Um, Tell you the truth, I will probably eat some of those, even though they're not 100% Trim Healthy Mama friendly. Olivia picked um, these uh, gluten-free snickerdoodles for her snack. Uh, they're also dairy-free. Two bags of chicken strips. These are for our dinner tonight, as well as these honey barbecued. We'll have those and french fries and a vegetable for dinner tonight. Got some cheese slices. I got lots of cheese this time. Cheese slices feta cheese, some goat's cheese, garlic and herb, thing of Colby Jack, two of mozzarella, and one of pepper jack. Scott likes to eat cheese for snacks, so I picked up a lot of cheese this time. I got two bags of the uh, green beans, extra fine. We got some burritos for Travis and Olivia on occasion. She can't eat these because it has the cheese, but these, the beef and beans, she can eat these, but only on occasion. Sometimes she eats them too often, then they upset her. Okay, so anyway, I got two bags of those for lunches. These are Olivia's choices for lunches uh, for the next two weeks. She likes to try new things, which that's good. I'm not, I'm not one to try new things too often. I particularly, you know, I kind of like know what I like, and I just want to stick with that. But anyways, she wanted to try this Hawaiian style tilapia. Some of these buffalo chicken sliders. She's had these before. She liked them. She says they're not too terribly spicy. And then some of these shredded beef taquitos. Two bags of frozen broccoli flowerets. A pizza for Travis for lunches. Oh, and this is also for Olivia's lunches. Some egg rolls. Three bottles of tomato juice for Scott. Some paper products, napkins, paper towels, toilet paper. Uh, some paper plates, needed batteries. So we got a package of AA and a package of AAA. Some sandwich bags 
and some trash bags and some baby spinach this is for me and also for Olivia's cockatiel Artie he loves spinach <sighs> I think that is everything I got it all these I'm telling you I told you this was gonna be a big one and it is <laughs> the fun thing is trying to find room for all this in the cupboards and stuff all right, I'm gonna get this stuff put away and I'll show you what I picked up at Kroger. Uh, I was putting groceries away and I found this sitting over the uh, other cupboard. This also came from Aldi's. It's a case of chicken broth. It's a mixture of the Fit and Active, which is low sodium, and then just the regular. Got a whole case of that. I was completely out of chicken broth. Okay, so this is what I picked up from Kroger. I got some more cereal, uh, some crispy cocoa rice, some these like shredded wheats. Travis loves shredded wheats, which I guess is a good thing. And puffins, the peanut butter flavor of those. Uh, two bags of the organic semi-sweet chocolate chips. Some of these uh, gluten-free and wheat-free. Um, my goodness, the box got squished. Dark chocolate chip waffles. They're vegan, so they are dairy-free. Those are for Olivia. Some of this almond milk uh, mixed berry acacia. It was on clearance for 99 cents. I only got one because I wasn't sure if I'd like it. Some of this nut pods creamer. This is trim healthy mama friendly because there's no added sugar. But I do go ahead and get the almond milk kind because I really like the almond nut, almond milk uh, coffee creamer. But I do use this on occasion. And plus, this is the original, so you can use it in place of heavy cream or half and half in recipes, and it's dairy free. They have this Daya, this Daya brand is a dairy free um, cheese, and this is a um, mac and cheese. And Olivia was so excited to see this because she's been hungry for mac and cheese, so we thought we'd give this a try. This stuff is not cheap. I mean, I'm telling you, if people have dairy free, issues or dairy allergies oh it really costs an arm and a leg to get stuff it's ridiculous um i got some dairy free mozzarella this stuff is pretty good it melts pretty good and it, it does make a good um, pizza and some pepper jack and then she wanted to get try these american uh, slices because she's been dying for a grilled cheese sandwich as well and so she tried this she's we've tried the cheddar and she didn't care for it, but she might like this American slices. We got her some of these cocoa Mel bites. These things are delicious. Oh my goodness, they are delicious. And they are dairy free because they're made with coconut milk. I told her she had to share a couple of those with me. She always gets her peanut butter cups, one little package every time. These are also dairy free. I got some molasses just because I needed it. And some of these red hots, I like to keep these on hand for different recipes. And then the last thing I picked up were some of these Ole wraps. These are sprouted whole grains, and I'm going to give these a try. The Joseph's pitas that I've been using, they were giving me so many problems in my gut. And I was like, what in the world is wrong? Why are these giving me so much trouble? And come to find out, they had ground flax in it and I cannot eat ground flax it tears me up but these do not have any kind of flax in them so I'm hoping that I can get away with eating these and not cause me so much trouble IBS is not fun it really isn't so that was my two-week grocery haul oh my goodness guys yikes it was a big one um, I spent a lot of money in this town today it's crazy but you know, I tried to not spend so much last time I went shopping and that always ends up happening. I end up, you know, spending less and then emptying out my cupboards and then spending a ginormous amount the next time I go shopping to refill my cupboards. So I'm not really sure if, you know, eating out of your pantry until it's like down to nothing is such a great idea because eventually you have to restock it and yeah, it takes a chunk of change out of your, out of your wallet. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that really long grocery haul. Thanks so much for watching, friends. And don't forget, do you like creamy or do you like crunchy? Talk to you later. Bye-bye.